the hair in and uh, a couple things I want to say. So I rarely, rarely bleach my closures. Last time I remember bleaching a closure was probably sometime last year. I think like last year or two years ago. Um, I don't like bleaching my closures because um, one, I kind of feel like the color of my scalp matches a unbleached closure for me so I don't feel like I need to bleach it and then two I feel like the bleach kind of um, starts to degrade the the lace of the closure over time and then three it makes um, the cl closure kind of like an orangey dark color and I when I bleached it I did put um, like anti-red anti-brassiness um, tonal drops within the, the mixture but still it gives an orangey feel and I feel like I've tried different types of closures ones from regular hair vendors ones from Aliexpress hair vendors and I feel like they all kind of do the same thing so I said let me bleach the closure and see like how it'll be with this hair so I did notice that you know it kind of has like a darker because my it kind of looks like the color of my skin but my my natural scalp color is is white it's not this color so I know that over time it will start to look a little bit orange and it'll start to degrade and stuff but I said let me just try it out so um, one thing I love about this closure is that I don't need to pluck it or anything like that because I feel like the, the opening is natural enough it's not too dense so I don't need to pluck anything and then also one good thing about this closure is that it's actually pretty long going back the longer the closure going back it looks more natural than a shorter closure that goes back because it, when it's short it kind of stops like right here and it, and it comes kind of like bulky and like not natural you know if you were to part your hair your, your part kind of goes back a little bit so I did notice that this closure it goes back pretty far like right here which is really good because then it and you can really notice the side profile like when you look to the side like does it look natural and this looks very natural you know so that's the one thing I, I kind of look at when I have closures in it's like at my side how natural does it look and I feel like it looks very natural like this so I'm in love with this closure so far perfect density as I said I do not need to pluck anything at all which is good so it helps decrease trying to customize the closure and everything like that so yeah, I'm loving this hair. So um, I was thinking about, am I gonna train the hair to lay it flat? I will do a little bit right here. So where the closure stops and my bundle start, I always like to take a little sliver of hair and train it to just go back to cover the tracks right here, just a little sliver. So I'll do that and then I have bundles started to come up here. So I'm gonna you know, train it so it lays flat right here and then I'll come back. in a closure um, I would if you like it thick like this like it looks nice and healthy but it's really thick really really thick so if you like it like this the thick the thick feel and look 
three bundles in a closure is good if you don't like it too thick two bundles is perfectly fine space out the bundles when you're installing it and everything will fill in perfectly because the hair is really thick i could straighten it so i could go in and straighten it i will do that let me um think maybe i can do that now maybe i'll do that now i'm gonna straighten it and then do my makeup and stuff and i'll show you guys how it was when it how it is <laughs>